Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more. Let's play Doom 2. We made it to the third chapter, uh, entering the demon-infested urban areas, trying to shut down the demonic invasion, and so far, chapter 3 is kicking my butt. Both of the first two maps kind of destroyed me. But anyway, let's go ahead and proceed on to the next map. Which is called... The Inmost Dens. Okay, let's remember that we've got a med kit there. Okay, chain gunner. A lot of hit scanners around. Another chain gunner, it looks like. Okay, down. Any enemies in these windows? Whew. It seems to like surrounding me with enemies so that there's nowhere safe to hide. Okay, we need the red key for all this stuff. Another chain gunner. Alright, what's gonna lie on the other... A revenant, of course. Let's uh, pull off something a little stronger to deal with him. Because I don't feel like taking his rockets to my face right now. Oh, should have saved that Berserk pack. I should switch to the shotgun, to be honest. The enemies are dropping a lot of shotgun ammunition, so... Okay, so it seems like we're securing the area. Though I still hear plenty of monster growling going on. Alright, that was the red door. See that there are enemies inside this central keep thing. Not sure exactly what kind of location we're at. Maybe it's just a demonic citadel that they've set up, or maybe it's some kind of old historical fort. Who knows? All we know is we're somewhere on Earth. Alright, mega armor. Hmm. Area secure, I think. Alright, and that's where we started. Oh, I just heard more monster growling. Alright, looks like we go through the area where the Revenant was then. Aha, I knew it. Shotgun. Use shotgun. Lots of shotgun ammo lying around. Get out of here, chain gunner. I see the red skull key flashing over there. Ugh. Not sure what caused the door to open. Was it passing over that lighted area? Enemies everywhere. This area seems pretty similar to the first area where we're just kind of surrounded by foes. Chain gunner over there. Thankfully, he was just kind of derping out and not attacking us, because that could have been bad. Oh, has some infighting been triggered? Ah, God, where'd that guy come from? Screw you. Came out on that drawbridge. Is that another chain gunner? They're going nuts with the hiss scanners on this map. Still, we're doing pretty okay. We haven't lost too much health. We came into this map with a ton of it. Hmm. Not doing fantastic on the chain gun ammo. There, get wrecked. I gibbed that dude, or jibbed him rather. Pretty sure the pronunciation is supposed to be giblets.
Hmm. Can I make it across to that? Well, I can't even climb up on the ledge. That is beyond Doom Guy's capabilities. Single handedly defeating the legions of hell? Check. Climb up on a waist high ledge? Impossible. It's ridiculous to expect anybody to accomplish a feat of that magnitude. It's also ridiculous to expect me to figure out which way to go, apparently. Um, oh, I see. Thank you, map. Oh. Okay. No, I already came in here. Oh, I think I can maybe run out onto that from here. Learned that trick in the previous map. Charge! Okay, it worked. Gotta look out for places that are elevated where you can jump onto other locations. Alright, I'm not going to waste tons of ammo shooting at that specter. But, when I enter the hallway that has it, never mind, uh-oh. Trying to sneaky flank and maneuver. Okay, red skull key acquired. Well done to me. Well, self-congratulation there. Have we found the red door? Yeah, the red door was back in the starting area? Or was that the blue door? Also, I don't think I can get back. The water probably doesn't hurt me, though. It's looking like maybe I need to drop into the water, doesn't it? Okay, confirm the water doesn't hurt me. I kind of wish it made a sloshing sound effect when you moved around in the water. That would be cool. For that matter, it would be cool if you had uh, footsteps as you were walking around. Hmm. Should I j jump in the water here? Maybe there's a secret or something. Or maybe I can access this skull switch. What did that do for me? Oh, let out an imp. Okay. Interesting. Okay, right, the red door was here. Hmm. I'm a little nervous about this. Okay, chain gunners, dual chain gunners, not good. Hmm. I was having trouble with that guy. Okay, odd. Alright, he's dead. I do not want to rocket myself in the face. Come on. Alright, I'm nervous the door is going to close, yep. Come on. I know there's another chain gunner over there. Okay, I've got other issues. Ah, that's an arch vial, that's an arch vial. Okay, we're not going to mess around with that. We're going to BFG him. He's alive. Kill him. Ah, oh, damn you, door. Damn you. Oh, man, the door kind of screwed me there. Shutting in my face when I was trying to BFG the arch vial. Made me waste a ton of ammo. I think he should be a G-shot is 40 cells. It's a lot. Should be some health I can collect. I know that there was health scattered all over that I wasn't even able to pick up because I was over 100%. Not after I got hit by the arch vial channeling. All right, well, whatever. We got him. That's what matters. That door is the most annoying damn thing. What's hitting me? Another chain gunner, where is he? What's this do for me? Okay, sniping pos- Didn't mean to do that, how do I get out of here? Did not mean to back into the water, taking a lot of hits. Does this do anything for me? 
I see, okay. Damn that chain gunner, I hate hit scanners. Okay. I need to find and kill that guy, he's driving me up the wall. Okay, that's one chain gunner down. I don't know if that's the one who was shooting me. Blue key acquired. Good. Progress. Finally got him. That guy was my nemesis. Hmm. Anything more to grab in here? Not that I can see. In which case, let's drop into the water and look for secrets and the like. I hear an arachnotron. That's not a good secret. I don't care about you, Imp. Also, did you survive that? No, he did not. No, crap, 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 crap. Got him. Okay, we're good. Yes, Soul Sphere. Heck yeah. Okay, fine. I'll just jump out the window. Conceptually, I did a completely unnecessary cool action roll through the window. Like Leon. Okay, now I just need to get back up. This'll do. And we know where the blue door was. Well, I mean, I know that we saw it. Saying that I remember exactly where it was may be an exaggeration. This way and to the right, it appears. Surprised more enemies haven't spawned between me and my destination. There's only four left on the map, apparently. Oh, uh, I've... Right, I needed to jump across. I remember. I still have a somewhat functioning brain every now and then. I saw you, Spectre. Get out of here. No one likes you. Actually, did I need to do this? Now I'm doubting myself. Brain function not so great after all. Okay, that works. Damn, damn, damn. I hate those chain gunners so much. Die, you piece of crap. I took so much damage from those guys. Alright. Apparently I miscounted. There's more enemies left than I thought. I need to get that Spectre to just charge at me. Come on, Spectre. Can't really see it in the shadows. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, come on. I legit can't. There it is! Dead. Whew. Oh, that's a cool looking entrance there. This whole level's cool looking. I, we're not exactly in an urban environment anymore. I don't know what this is. Like I said, maybe it's a demonic citadel. Maybe it's an old historical fort that's been taken over and semi-transformed by the demons. Who knows? Whatever it is, it's cool. And this is a really cool-looking entry area. 74 out of 72. How is that even possible? Oh, because the Archvile resurrected some enemies and screwed up the, the count. That makes sense. In which case, it's not reliable and there could still be more enemies left, but it looks like there's not. Okay, that map was way easier than the two maps before it. I mean, it was challenging. It wasn't a cakewalk, but I got a 
first try blind win, so it wasn't that bad. Alright, what's up next? So, it turns out the answer to the question of what's next is a royal mess. The next level is very difficult. It is a pretty massive difficulty spike. And as it turns out, for the first time since I did the Ultimate Doom levels, I'm back in post-commentary mode because this gave me enough trouble that rather than trying to play and commentate at the same time, I decided to just get a run of the level recorded and then commentate over it afterward. Uh, it also is a level that has some design decisions which kind of seem tailored to attempt to be rage-inducing, as we will see. But rather than get into that right now, let's just start watching the run of the next level and see what unfolds. Now, I thought that I had muted myself uh, for this, but in fact I hadn't, so you'll hear my controller clicking. But I didn't actually say anything, uh, so all the commentary is in post. Alright, so... This level is called Industrial Zone. It doesn't really look anything like an Industrial Zone. It looks more like a medieval castle, complete with a tower with crenellations. So it looks cool, but it doesn't really look like an industrial sector of a modern urban environment. Anyway, so I'm just kind of running around gunning down a bunch of these zombies uh, in this starting area. There are a bunch of high buildings in the distance that are filled with zombies, including chain gunners, in sniping positions. And they, as we're seeing right there, they will gladly snipe you from a ridiculously far distance. Like, halfway across this gigantic map. And trying to snipe them back is difficult to impossible. Uh, so that can be frustrating, but I think the idea is you're not supposed to engage those guys from far away on the ground. I, I think you're intended to try to stay behind cover and avoid all of the snipers perched on the distant rooftops, so fair enough. Now I think the first rage-inducing thing is coming up here. I need to try to jump across this gap to reach that teleporter that is currently to my right. Right now I'm getting in a futile sniping duel with one of those faraway chain gunners. No, I think I might have actually killed him, but it took an enormous amount of ammo and health to do so. Alright, now here's where I'm going to try to jump across. Okay, not yet. We're getting there. What's going to happen is there are a couple of guys standing... Alright, oh, right there! These two guys were standing at the base of the building, and because this game has no logical y-axis, I got caught on those guys standing at the base of the building, which ruined my jump and caused me to land on the ground at the base of the building where they gunned me down and I died. And that's going to be the running theme of this level, that it is a level that is badly hurt by Doom's pseudo 3D aspects where... Creatures actually don't have a logical Y position. This level is badly marred by that particular aspect. Because there's going to be multiple times where I get shot by an enemy that is way off the top of the screen. Way out of my viewing angle. And you can't look up in this game. So it's extremely difficult to deal with enemies that are way above your viewing angle and sniping you down. The map designer should have taken that into account. For all I know, maybe he did, and he thought it was a clever move to put enemies above your viewing window where you can't see them to snipe you down. But I have I have a notice to this map designer. That's not clever. That's infuriating. That's a bit of very questionable design on this particular map that I don't much care for at all. Uh, but anyway, you flip this switch to lower. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Some kind of giant square stone wall. Uh, hitting that switch causes it to retract into the ground. This is pure video game logic, or I guess we can say it's some special hell architecture. But anyway, you go across the toxic sludge, and it allows you to grab uh, this mega armor, which is very appreciated. Going from 0 to 200% armor is... Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna like it on this level, because this is a level where you kind of take a whole lot of damage. 
Or at least I sure take a whole lot of damage. All right, so where am I going next at this point? Looks like I decided not to go that way. Okay, I'm trying to get up into this structure. And I'm kind of going to get screwed a bit by the whole fake verticality thing here. First of all, this is another instance, as we saw, where I'm having to do battle with creatures off the top of my screen. So I can't aim at them, but they can aim at me no problem. Again, that, that kind of sucks. But it actually gets even worse. Because as we're going to see, I'm going to try to get on the elevator and step off onto this floor up here. And I'm going to be blocked by... Yep, it just happened. It literally just happened. Where I got blocked by that stupid Kako demon. And it was shooting me and I couldn't even see it. <laughs> and it's just... It's not great. Th this is a level that really tries to get me to rage on multiple occasions. And that's what, another reason I decided to do post-commentary, because if I were commentating live, I did not trust myself to not rage. Amusingly, I think the Kako Demon might have gotten crushed there? No, no, it couldn't have, because there's nothing to crush it on there. So I guess it just coincidentally I finally killed it just as the elevator was going back up. Anyway, we make it up to this floor, finally, after having to do gun battles with creatures we can't see. Uh, but it turns out there doesn't really seem to be anything we can do up here immediately. There's a teleporter, there's the red key card, but we can't get at either of those. So I'm just going to poke around for a bit. Drop back down the shaft. Apparently come back up and poke around a little more. Not convinced that, <laughs> that there's nothing to find up here, but I'm pretty sure there really isn't. I mean, I don't know, maybe there's a secret I missed, but... From there, you cannot get at the red key or the teleporter, that's for sure. So, I come back down. Time for some more exploring. Kill some more zombies on the ground level. There's the tower with the crenellations in the distance. It very much looks medieval castle or medieval fortress. Which is a cool look, but it's not really a modern urban look. Kako demon trying to shoot us from some distance away. That doesn't bother me because it shoots projectiles so they're dodgeable. It's not like stupid hit scanners that hit you from halfway across this gigantic map. Like this commando. Honestly, in a game that lacks any kind of proper sniping weapon, I sort of question the use of hit scanners across ridiculously huge maps that can snipe you from way farther away than you can hit them. But again, maybe the idea is you're just supposed to run from cover to cover and not try to engage them. In which case, fair enough. I'll accept that aspect of the map design. I'm less forgiving of the whole enemies off the top of your, or bottom of your viewing range thing. Okay, so when I did earlier runs of this level, I was able to jump from the top of that building to that teleporter no problem. Like, with zero misses. But for recording this run, for some reason, I miss this jump, like, I don't know, half a dozen times, and I don't understand why. But I went ahead and made a checkpoint save here so that I didn't have to keep running around to retry this jump. I legitimately don't know why I suddenly struggled with it so much. Here I, I suddenly start to doubt myself that my memory was correct, that I was supposed to jump onto that teleporter. <laughs> I don't understand why it's suddenly not working, I really don't. <laughs> it's just, let's just keep trying until it works, I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, it finally decides to work. I I don't know. But uh, from here, you need to make another jump. Luckily, this one's a little more cooperative. Onto this ledge. Hit that lion face switch. I do like the look of those lion face switches. They're really cool looking. 
That lowers a wall that allows us to access this teleporter. Now, here's a weird thing. You have to go back inside the teleporter, and it teleports you to a different spot than where you emerged from. Namely, on top of the box where you can get the red key card. Alright, so what I did there was I cut out a bunch of navigational derping, uh, struggling to figure out where to go next. But we have the red key card now, so now we can make some more progress. Call this elevator, and there's going to be a swarm of dudes waiting for us at the top. I remembered that much. Got sniped from across the map by somebody. So I prepare my BFG 9000, and just one-shot the all the imps waiting for me on the other side of that door. Maybe a little bit of a waste of a BFG shot, but I didn't feel like messing around at this point. Okay, getting hit by a chain gunner from somewhere. Alright, I think we are now on the ledge that rings the central building. So now we kind of make our way around. Taking out some dudes along the way. Including some chain gunners. I guess maybe the idea is this is a demonic fortress, to judge from all of the demonic iconography on it. So... This, maybe this wasn't a structure made by humans at all. Although, then why does it have technological doors? Then again, the demons have some technological aspects like the cybernetic arachnotrons and cyber demons. So, maybe they do have some strangely technological uh, aspects to their creations. So that's going to be my assumption, even though this is called the Industrial Zone. It's pretty much been transformed into a demonic fortress. At least I was able to kill that chain gunner before he opened fire on me. Alright, so the benefit of getting up on the ledge to this central building is it's going to grant us access to this area, which is very dangerous. When you go to pick up that BFG, a Hell Knight and multiple pain elementals appear. That BFG is there for a reason. I apply BFG shots liberally to take out the Hell Knight and the Pain Elementals and the um, uh, Lost Souls that they spawn, hopefully taking minimal damage. Inside that wall is the yellow key card, and here I exploited, I don't know if you'd call it a glitch, where if you are directly in the face of the Pain Elemental, it cannot spawn its Lost Souls, because it tries to spawn them directly in front of itself. But if you're occupying that space, the game doesn't let them spawn at all. So getting right up in the grill of a pain elemental and killing it that way is a good way to prevent it from spawning any of its little dudes. Now that we have the yellow key card, we've uh, opened access to more areas we can explore. Namely, this building right behind me, I believe. Which is another incredibly dangerous area, which the game kind of telegraphs from the dead marine corpses and all the blood splatters on this door. So I decided to just not screw around with it and just BFG the first wave of guys, which includes multiple caco demons and a chain gunner. Still getting sniped by enemies from across the map. And that softened up the enemies inside the BFG shot did enough that I can mop up what remains pretty easily. So that Kako demon seemed to escape the majority of the damage, but I finally take him down. Now this is another area that likes to put a bunch of chain gunners perched up too high for you to really be able to target them with any reliability. Chain gunner hitting me from behind there as I deal with the pain elemental. Multiple chain gunners here on this bridge. The super shotgun makes fairly quick work of them. I find that rather than trying to get in a sniping duel with enemies that you can't even see here, it's better to just rush through and engage them at point-blank range. Just get up onto their perches and take them down. I take a lot of unnecessary damage from this shotgunner. Like, a whole lot. Because I foolishly try to just punch him out instead of just pulling out my shotgun and killing him. In that respect, that berserk pack there almost seems like a trap. They're exploiting the uh, prevent the pain elemental from spawning mechanic again. Shotgun down some more duders including another commando.
All right, and this is the blue door, so we have reached the farthest point that we can explore here behind the yellow door until we find the blue key card. I think I spend a little time with some navigational derping. I do believe I cut it out at some point. Looks like I didn't cut it immediately, though, so we get to enjoy my running around like a chicken with its head cut off for a bit. Good fun, that. A lot of my jump cuts are cutting out stuff like this, where I'm just running around like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Here I find a horde of uh, lost souls through this window. I don't think I ever actually end up entering the room that they occupy. It's probably a secret or something, so I think this was just a waste of ammo killing them all. But uh, I decided I might as well just kill them through the window where they aren't a threat. Okay, here we get a jump cut. All right, so I'm now leaving the yellow door area. And heading to, I think, a different yellow door area, because there's two yellow doors on this map, I believe. And it is at the end of this fairly longish area, with some of its own little tricks, that we will eventually find the blue key. I'm not fighting especially well here. So yeah, I have mixed feelings about this level. It's huge and sprawling and pretty ambitious in its design, and it has cool ideas and some nice set pieces. But I feel like its reach exceeded its grasp. The Doom engine was maybe not the best engine for a level like this, where there's so much verticality involved. The engine really works against the idea of this level. Anyway, a Hell Knight tries to ambush us around this corner, but Super Shotgun makes pretty quick work of him. We find the area map, which I don't find especially useful on this particular level. Uh, it's the other direction we actually want to go in. This Pain Elemental needs to go before he spawns a bazillion guys. There we go. Handled. All right, flipping that switch caused some stairs to rapidly appear. So, making our way up the stairs that we conjured with that switch. I decided to make a checkpoint save there. This level had been getting on my nerves, so I didn't feel too cheesy about making some checkpoint saves here and there. That that was a BS uh, bit of damage there. That was another example of a commando parked outside the top of my viewing window, just doing a ton of damage from where I couldn't even see him, cutting out some more navigational derpage here. It's not terribly obvious, but after you flip one of these switches up here, uh, what it does is... I think it opens a secret door in the wall that I don't think is accessible at all until you hit that switch. And it makes this lighted arrow appear, kind of showing you where the secret door is. And behind that, we finally acquire the blue key. <laughs> Meant to bring up the map there, accidentally brought up the menu. A mistake I make every now and then. I don't know what's happening here because I know that I need to go back to the other yellow door because that's where we have the blue door and we need the blue key. I think I just had a bit of derping again. Anyway, we are now making our way to said blue door now that we are armed with blue key. And we're actually reaching the end of this huge, complex, and pretty difficult level. Apparently if I had moved faster I could have gotten a mega sphere there I think, which would have been great because my armor is depleted, so going up to 200% health and armor would have been fantastic, but uh, I was too slow, I was getting tired of this level, so I didn't feel like futzing around with the mechanisms to figure out how to, uh, how to get that. This is the last area of the level. It's not super difficult as long as you're patient. There's a Baron of Hell, not a Hell Knight, but an actual Baron, in the center of this area, inside kind of a cage. There's also a Hell Knight, and I think some imps scattered around. And if you just try to rush through this area 
like a berserk chicken, you'll probably take a lot of unnecessary damage. But if you just patiently dart around this corner using it for cover and just slowly snipe down the incredibly durable Baron of Hell, oh, here comes the Hell Knight out to play, then you can pretty much get through this area taking no damage at all. Man, Barons of Hell are durable. But he finally goes down and around the cage we reach the level exit. Thank goodness that one's over. <laughs> that level, like I said, it has some good ideas, some cool design, it's huge and sprawling, it's ambitious, but it kind of got on my nerves playing it because of the various BS aspects that we discussed. Again, I think the limitations of the Doom engine really play against what that level's going for. So, glad that that one is finished. <laughs>